Peter. This is Stacia. This is also Collector Pete. Upcount Swing. Intermediate class. Number two. Here's the one we do at the beginning. A little solo jazz. <coughs> Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Hey. Ho. Ha. Ha. Ho. Left, right, left. Hey. Mess around. Some movement in the dance, and that you mix it up, it's not always a move, you just put a little expression in there, it helps to have something to express. So, practice this solo movement, it can really help. Now, on to the five different movements. We started off with rock, step, triple, triple, rock, step, do a thing, step, rock, step. <laughs> so, those are the two moves we did. Two six counts, both times. I set up instead of the follower, and then I Leaders, turn under your arm on that second one. And leaders, make sure here that you flip your hand over nice and early so that you can comfortably lead the follower and then you're also easier, you're better set up to do your own turn. Um, after that, we did, we'll do it from this way. We did rock, step, triple step. Have them follow, just take that slow, relaxed triple step. And then leaders trying to lead just the timing of this footwork, turning down the line. Follower just thinking relaxed, moving down that line. And more about the rhythm of this part. This move is really more about the rhythm than the pushing and pulling. It's a really soft, relaxed move. It doesn't take a lot of energy. Boom, boom, pop, pop, pop. Okay? From there, fancy time. This is the one I'm going to struggle with a little bit. Same idea as this where I turn her and turn myself, but I'm going to do it with two hands. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. And I kind of rotate an extra 180 on the five, six. So instead of making a six count move, when I take the five, I open it up, let you go, and cross over on six, keep moving around that extra 180. That is what changes her footwork so that we both do an eight count together. Watch it again. One, two, three, three and four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, rise. Okay? So, um, I think the main thing here is when the leaders are here, it's taking this five, not only rotating the correct way, but in a direction, aiming towards this extra movement. So, Changing places one more time. If you get that, the move tends to work. Nice. Left go, left hand at the end. Right. Okay? And then we just tried at the very end, do what we did last week, doing some of these moves, and then also doing just plain simple swing outs and stuff, and then trying to fit something interesting to the end of the music. The thing that we tried this time was one, two, three, and four, back. It up. We're just going to try and make that fit the A count. That'll hit a lot of different ways, and it's the leader's choice how to do it. And we ask the followers to not have a preconceived notion on it, just sort of like follow what the leader does, try and match it on that. I think that's it. More dancing than you're dancing is the hope. Uh, just remember how tricky it is to do this putting dancing in your dancing and really reacting to the music with these new fancy moves. When those become part of your comfort zone, then it's easy to do. So it's always worthwhile to push that comfort zone so that you can do more interesting stuff and still be dancing to the music. Excellent work. We'll see you guys next week. Up top.